Hi guys. Um, I'm making this video because I kind of want to share with you guys and explain to you guys why I haven't been around quite so much lately. I made that video for my Twitter or for my contest, um, announcing the winners just because I've been really, really busy lately and haven't had a lot of time to sit down and record a video. And then, when I finally did have time, um, started noticing some problems in my face. Um, it started with numbness in my mouth, and then eventually my eyes started to twitch a lot. And then I noticed that this whole half of my face, I can't control the muscles on. So you might be able to tell now, I can't blink all the way, so I have to like tape my eyes shut at night. Um, it's just been kind of odd for me, and I've been trying really hard not to be so self-conscious about it. Um, it's really hard to put on makeup and keep it on nice, because it keeps, like, eye just moves weird and I have to like manually blink sometimes so it I don't know it's weird and I've been like really self-conscious about it because I didn't know what it was at all and then yesterday after it had been five days um, I finally went to the doctors and um, basically all they do is they rule out that you don't have this, 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 or this, and then they decide that, well, since you don't have that, most likely what you have is, um, Bell's palsy. So that's what I have, is, um, it's just called Bell's palsy. Um, it happens randomly, but the, uh, nerve coming through your skull that controls your facial muscles the nerve itself swells and your skull pinches it off so you have some paralysis. Um, not everybody, like, it, it's really different for everybody because some people's never gets as bad as mine and some people's gets a lot worse. So, I mean, I just, a lot of people that I've talked to lately have said they can't notice it, but for me, it's pretty obviously the most noticeable when I smile and like any time when I'm talking and enunciating a lot you can see all the enunciations on this side of my face and some of them, some of my words sound a little slurred because I can't feel anything on this half of my face so when I eat I can only taste food on this half um, they recommended that I get an eye patch, so I'm probably going to do that tomorrow, but just because I don't want to be worrying about it, I'm going to deck it out in rhinestones. Um, maybe just do my makeup on the one side that I can, so I might be doing some tutorials for you guys, but it'll only be on this one side, because I can still do this really easily, so I'll just wear my eye patch for a while. Um, the thing that's been kind of freaking me out the most was, um, they put me on steroids for, for it, prednisone, and, um, they basically told me that it should help speed up the recovery, but I should still expect about a month or two of looking like this <laughs> before it gets better. Um, some people are telling me a year and a half, two years later, two and a half years later, there's still having the same, a lot of the same side effects from it. So a lot of funkiness, I guess. Um, and then people that have said six, eight, ten months later, it hasn't gone away. So it's, I don't know, I find it really odd and hard to deal with. Like, I find myself getting really upset that there's a lot of things that I want to do, um, more modeling, shooting, more sets, um, and just a lot of stuff like that, but I obviously can't do it like this, so 
Um, it's just, it's really hard to deal with. And then I get frustrated at myself for being so superficial about it. Like, dude, it's just your face. It'll go away. Don't worry about it. But I'm really into makeup, and I'm really into doing stuff, and I love taking pictures of my friends and smiling and always a really happy, bubbly, smiley person, but now when I'm at work, I'm explaining to people how to take care of things, and telling them what to do to take care of their tattoo, and I do this the entire time because I don't want them to see that this half of my face looks, like, stupid. Um, I had a really big breakdown because of it today, so my dad suggested that I share it with you guys, um, because it's a pretty common thing. It's not really all that rare. I mean, it happens quite a bit, and I've been told lately by quite a few people that they either know somebody who has had that, or they've had it themselves. So, um, any of you out there that have been through it, that can be supportive, is awesome. Um, or any of you out there who might come to experience it, I'm going to tag it with a lot of the symptoms and stuff so that maybe people can see firsthand what it looks like and they don't have to feel so dumb. They don't have to be so scared of it. So, I got my tattoo touched up and we're excited to it, but yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to be doing some makeup looks soon. Hopefully that I can pull off like this. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I guess I'm just making this video to kind of show the exact progress of it. It's been six days that I've had this. Um, and I've been on the steroids for about a day and a half now. And, yeah. The first, basically all the doctors did to decide was puff up my cheeks. I can't really hold the side shut. And it's really easy to push on it. And he closed my had me close my eyes and tried to pull them open. That was really all he did and then said, Yeah, you can wait it out. You can take steroids and hope that that'll speed it up. Um but mostly you gotta wait it out. So, let's see how it goes. I just, my birthday's this weekend, so I'm like not looking forward to having this face in all my pictures when I go out for my birthday. But luckily, the people around me are doing their best to be as supportive as possible. Um, Casey's like looked it up on Wikipedia, so he's kind of researched it. He's still just thinks it's more funny than anything, which I don't really find it too funny, but I understand that that's really the easiest way to deal with, like, a complicated situation is to just laugh it off. I've been trying really hard to do that. There's a lot of people that have really been bringing me down about it, but I'm trying my best to smile as much as I can. I am starting to get twitches in my lip, which I'm hoping is a really good sign because this side is starting to move again. Um, so I'm hoping that it'll be faster than we expect. Um, so for now, that's it. Um, I will make videos in the future very soon, I hope. Um, I'm going to try to continue to make videos despite this, but um, please keep in mind and be patient with me because it's, it's really hard for me to handle. I do thank you guys for all of your support. Um, a lot of you on Twitter have been super supportive of me, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, so that's it for now. I hope this video is not too long. Thanks for watching. Bye.